Hello YouTube, this is FSP. Hope y'all are having a blessed day. Today is Monday, June the 5th, I believe. Uh, might want to get your uh, pencil and paper, or pen and paper, or whatever. Today I thought I would go through some more of the stuff that's been written in my book. Uh, I went over the air to ground signals and stuff before in a video. But, you know, as I watch different YouTube channels, I pick up on little things. Uh, little, like, uh, I don't know if it's called acronyms or what, but like a word and you break it down and it, each word, each letter means a certain thing. Uh, so I thought I would go over some of the stuff I had today, uh, that, that I haven't went over before, and, uh, just wanted to share it with y'all, because I picked some of this up, some of this I picked up on, uh, Black Scout Survival, some I picked up on Gray Bearded, whatever, uh, you know, just different channels, and, uh, uh, some of these may be military kind of terms or whatever, but they're, they can be very useful. Uh, so, get your, uh, pause the video, whatever, get you a pad. This is my Right in the Rain notebook that I have here. Uh, a lot of people carry the little notepad instead, whatever you have that you keep in your bag, uh, your survival bag, bug out bag, get home bag, whatever you want to call it. So the first one here, uh, most people know these, LPOPs, that's listening posts and observation posts. Nothing new there, but it was something I thought was important, so I wrote it down at some point in time. And I can tell by my handwriting, because some, on some of these, my handwriting's hard to read. I was jotting it down quick, so. The first one uh, that I think y'all really need to know uh, it's concerning uh, making shelters that are highly concealable, concealable shelters. The word is bliss, B-L-I-S-S. -S. So you want to write that word long ways, and then you'll, each letter, you'll say what it means. B stands for blend. L stands for low silhouette. Uh, these are principles for creating good hidden hide sites and shelters. I stands for irregular shape. <clears throat> the first S stands for small. And the second S stands for secluded. So bliss. Blend, low silhouette, irregular shape, small, and secluded. So that's that one. I wanted to share that with y'all. Uh see. This one concerns knowing when to bug out. You know, people talk about, okay, we're going to bunker down, but at some point we're going to bug out. This one is about knowing when to bug out. So these situations, if these six situations arise, the, these are telling you it's time to go. So the word is red out, R-E-D-D-O-U-T. I know. I run it all together. It may be separate. I don't know. So the R stands for resources are running out. That's not good. The second one stands for environment is becoming hazardous. Uh, the third one, the D, I'm sorry, uh, the D, the first D stands for des uh, another another destination is safer. They use the D for destination, but the, another destination or your bug out destination is safer than where you are now. Uh, the O stands for overwhelming force by man or nature. Sometimes nature can provide an overwhelming force. Ever been in a wildfire? Uh, so, O is overwhelming force by man or nature. Uh, the U is for unprepared for specific threats. Different things may be happening that you haven't prepared for. 
The T is for threats are no longer manageable. That's what that's, that T stands for. Threats are no longer manageable. So I had that wrote down. I don't know what channel I got it off of. Uh, but I thought, now there's a good little list of things that maybe, that maybe will give you a clue, hey, it's time to go. So again, read out. R-E-D-D-O-U-T. Resources are running out. Environment's becoming hazardous. Uh, destination, another destination is safer. Uh, overwhelming force by man or nature. Unprepared for specific threats. Threats are no longer manageable. Read out. This is a sniper term. I wrote it down because it was something I didn't know, so... I could relieve it. Dope uh, data on previous engagements. This is something I wrote down in here. So uh, let me see what else I got in here. Okay, this is also concerning uh, hide sites. You know, the other one was. Uh, concealing shelters this one's about hide sites there's no acronym or there's no word for this one but it says cover and concealment from aircraft something to consider if you're trying to hide uh you know you don't want to be seen by a plane or helicopter so cover and concealment uh from from the air uh away from Roads, paths, or game trails. Uh, you want to be away from roads, paths, or game trails. Uh, you want to have multiple escape routes. These are just bullet points. Multiple escape routes. Uh, a place that allows for comms. May need to be kind of a higher place. A place that allows for communications. Near water. So uh, these are just uh, one, two, three, four, five, five bullet points about the hide site. Uh, and then I wrote down here below it, that's my dog uh, chasing a rabbit in his dreams, if you hear that. Uh, use zigzag pattern to avoid detection. That's a, that's a military thing, I'm pretty sure. And then it says, like, if you're if you're trying to gain intel on something going on around you, S L L S. Uh, stop, look, listen, and smell. These are ways you can kind of figure out maybe what's going on. Again, these may not be useful to you, but this this stuff I wrote down, thinking it might be useful. And here, like, here's another for instance, noise and light discipline. Sleeping shifts, you know. This information is good to have if you're in SHTF. You, you know things are going to be going crazy quick, and having some things like this wrote down gives you somewhere to go back and remind yourself. Okay, we need to do this. We need to do that. Because uh, you're not going to be thinking straight, you know, when the when the S is hitting the fan. It's it's going to be chaos. Another thing I wrote, I'm pretty sure this is military. Uh, let me see. I need my little magnifier and I can't find it. Uh, salute report. Example. This is an example. Salute report. So if you send a unit, let's say, let's say you send out three men to go rove your area. You know, whatever you, you know, whatever your group considers your area. If they see something, if they have an enemy sighting uh, or whatever, they come back and they give you a salute report. So salute is the word. You'll need to write that down long ways. Salute. Size of the unit. So in my example, I wrote four men. Action. What were they doing? Uh, were they patrolling? 
Were they sitting around a campfire shooting crap, you know, actions? What were they doing? Location, one mile north of camp or a quarter mile west of camp, what was their location? Uniforms, were they wearing any uniforms? Were they wearing U.S. military uniforms? Were they wearing flectarn? You know, were they wearing German camouflage or whatever? Uniform. The T is for time. You need to write down the time you saw this. Uh, and the E at the end of salute is for equipment. What equipment were they carrying? Did they have cannons? Did they have shotguns? Did they have nods? Uh, what types of equipment did they have? Did this group have? So that is a example salute report. <coughs> And I've got Morse code characters written down in here, even though I know them by heart. You may not be thinking correctly. I wrote them down in here anyway. So things like that. I've got ground to air signals wrote down in here. Uh, you know, flares, colors, what they mean, all that. I've already went over all that in a previous video. But these are some things I thought that I would go over today. Uh that may help you. So you may want to get your writing rain notepad or notebook. I chose to get a notebook because you got a little more, a little more paper in here, a little more room to write. And uh, what I did, uh, I'll say it again. I've said it before, but what I did was I went to the back cover and and came back about you know six or eight pages and started me a reference section in the back so if you're logging you know grid locations on maps and things up here in the front then you have a reference section in the back that's kind of how i did mine but uh you know it's a free world do whatever you want with yours but these are just some ideas i thought i would share with y'all some things that i've gained over watching uh other youtube channels and from people who would know, from people who've been in the military, and, uh, you know, it's also a good idea to learn hand signals, like if you're communicating with the crew behind you or whatever. Uh, there's many videos on hand signals. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Just another good idea. And, of course, all this is for entertainment purpose only. Yeah, let me say that. Y'all have a good one. I'm about to have a coughing fit or a sneezing fit, apparently. So uh, this is FSP. Some helpful things that you may want to know or may want to write down. Uh, Y'all have a good, a good day.